Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm extremely excited about today's video and the journals that I have to share with you. They are from one of my artists, Darlene Carroll. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then her name will probably sound familiar to you. She is one of my favorite artists. Uh, you know, y'all are my favorite artists. That's why I can say one of my favorite artists. But I'm always inspired by the beauty how beautiful her journals are, and they're always extremely well made. So I was doing a little jig for joy when I realized that her box was the next one I was going to be showing. There are several journals here. We'll try to keep a good pace, but allow time to stop and smell the figurative roses along the way. We're going to start off with this beauty. There's a little definition on the front that says bloom a flower, particularly those considered beautiful to flourish and grow. I love the use of the tag on the front of this and a little layered up bits of lace and snippets. It's fabric covered. What a gorgeous fabric and a beautiful closure. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is... She used a shabby rose kit from Journal Centric on Etsy. Wow, now we can all go check that out. I don't think I'm familiar with journal centric, so I'm excited to go check that out. Wow, that must be this kit. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, love the use of lined paper, coffee dyed paper. I'm always impressed with Darlene's balance in her pages. She, I always have a hard time leaving blank pages. Um, but when she does it, it looks so effortless, so planned. And then you have these beautiful pops of absolute gorgeousness that make you totally forget that you just had blank pages. So you have places to write, to decorate yourself. And then you have these gorgeous, gorgeous little pops of beauty. So pretty. And her coffee dye tape her table, coffee table, coffee paper is gorgeous. All different kinds of lined paper for writing. This is beautiful. Some music paper, little pouch. It's always a joy to share journals that are so beautifully constructed makes me want to be a better journal maker when I see work like this. You can just feel it in the papers. You can feel it in the construction, how well made it is. Look at this tag. I always forget to make giant tags. They look so beautiful. Giant journal cards. What a pretty belly band. That lace and beads down the middle journals slipping all over my table. So I'm like, oh. there's a big tag in the back as well. So, oh, okay. The tag is not glued on. It was slipped in. Okay. That's neat. So you could glue it on or you could slip something else under that if you wanted to use the tag somewhere in the journal. So that's the first one, Bloom. This one is a single signature. Look at how pretty that is. Let's take a look inside. There's a doily as like the first page. Wallpaper. Oh, a cute little flip down. So pretty. Look at the green paper. Gorgeous. pretty tags in here. You can even write on the back. This is from an index card. Love that. That flips up for journaling. Oh, neat. So the closure is actually tied onto the back of this doily so you don't lose it. And then it wraps around and you tie it closed. So you are not gonna lose that closure, brilliant. 
really, really pretty. Next is another single signature. What a beautiful picture on the front. Look at that. A little flowers, lace on the spine. She used a paper pad for this one. This is a paper pad. She said there's 68 pages, which is a wonderful size for a single signature. Look at that. Oh, does that, I think it tucks under the butterfly. I'm not at a good angle to pull that up. I can't get behind it. So pretty. It's a collaged belly band and a journal cut apart. Look, I don't know if that happened on purpose or not, but look at the copy dyed heart. Isn't that gorgeous? If that was a happy accident, that was one of the happiest accidents I've ever seen. I bet she did that on purpose. That is so pretty. Little flip open. Beautiful. Yeah, see, there's another heart. Yeah. I wonder if she took a paintbrush. I don't know. You no, know, it's actually kind of perfect for Valentine's Day. You wouldn't get the journal in time for Valentine's Day, but it could be your, a Valentine's Day gift to yourself. And then there's a little, oh, it's a pouch, a pocket there that you could tuck things in. It looks like it was made from an envelope. Okay, so she had this tied. Let's see if I can do this. Wrap it around, right? I'm terrible with these things. And then was it wrapped again? Maybe I should have started, I should have started the other way. Oh, well, we can tie it in the back. Who says you can't tie it in the back? That still works. Let's look at this one. Old photograph. Gorgeous. Two signatures on this one. She used paper from her paper pads on this one, which yay for you because I'm terribly hoarding my paper pads. I don't know if it's because I have not allowed myself to splurge on any new paper pads. Uh, Maybe since, oh, maybe going on a year. I'm sure I picked up one or two here or there, but I haven't actually gone out paper pad hunting like I used to. And so I feel like if I start using the ones I have, I won't be able to replace them. Totally ridiculous. I need to use them up. One thing I've been doing, and I really think that uh, it's been good for me, is to, to pull out a whole bunch of scraps and papers and start working my way through them. Look at how pretty that is. Yesterday, I took a butterfly book that I bought for 75 cents and I've used it multiple times. Um, I've used all the prettiest butterfly pages. Mostly what was left were <clears throat> the ugly pages or the like mating rituals of butterflies like who wants that in their journal <laughs> and uh, the index and stuff like that so I ripped all the pages out I glued them together made bases did all sorts of things yesterday I accomplished a lot and it was a blast and I felt so good about it and I have a plan for today too if I get to it it's kind of a busy day so hopefully dyeing some pa scrap papers I have around so that'll be fun look at how pretty this is like a wallpaper cover. Look at the stitching. Love that. You could put an image or something here if you wanted to. I'm going to pull. Okay. This is, I think this is the Tim Holtz flower. You'd have to trim it, but I'm just trying to show you how you could put something on the spine if you wanted to. Pretty little lace flip. Let's see what she said about this. Journal is made with two large envelopes. It's covered with wallpaper. She used my kit postage due. Definitely um, was one of my more popular ones, at least when it was first released. Uh, it's been probably a year and a half, maybe two years, but this is the kit. I hope you'll check it out on my site. You can get it printed or digitally, and it's all about letter writing 
and the mail service, the postage uh, service. So like this is one of the pages here. And so I hope that you'll check that out. That's a gorgeous tag. Look at that. Whew. On this one. Wow. This is from Postage Due. And then she just layered up other beautiful images that she had. Oh, let me mention, because I'm seeing roses, and it's making me think of my February exclusive image club, which means exclusive you can only buy it this month. Uh, you'll never be able to purchase it or get those images anywhere else unless you get them now. There's design use, meaning you can make digitals to sell, and then there's also a folder with just ones that you can print and use in journals to sell, but you can't design with them. Anyway, I'm focusing a lot on design elements, um, as well as other beautiful things, but they go along with this type of theme. It's lace, florals, romance, like this romantic feel. So it would go really well with like this kit. But today I have a flash sale. Um, it is only $4.99. It's over 50% off. Normally it's $10. It's going back up to $10 tomorrow. So if you're shopping, you might want to go ahead and grab that. Even if you're not going to use it right now, it's really, really cheap today, and you will not be able to buy it come March 1st. So if you're interested at all, I keep adding every week. And by the end of um, February 2021, there'll be over 100 images in there. And I'm having a blast with it, and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. I have made enough sales to let you know for sure that there will be a March exclusive coming out which will be green and springtime themed, lots of green and nature and that kind of green will be the my main color that I'm focusing on for that one. I told myself that I needed to make at least 10 sales to do a March one. And I think as of right now, I've made, I want to say 12 sales for that. So I'm happy. I'd like to make a solid um, 20 to 30 sales if possible by the end of the month. But I've made enough to make it worth my while to do a March one. How cute. Look at the little bunnies. The Beatrix Potter. Oh, it's an old velveteen rabbit, rabbit book cover. So pretty. So velveteen rabbit book and some of the pages from Victoria Designs Peter Rabbit kit. And I love how she mixed and matched her bunnies. I am a little bit in a bunny mood right now since we are, number one, going into spring. And number two, Joanne and I just started a kit collection in our Dreamy Designs Club called Welcome to Bunnyville. And it is adorable. It's purple is the main color and we have adorable bunnies. So yes, I am um, a little bit bunny obsessed right now and this is adorable look at this i also have an ephemera pack in my shop called down the rabbit hole that you won't want to miss if you love vintage rabbits um, i think it's three pages full of uh, rabbit ephemera not easter themed none of it is easter themed if you want easter then get holiday image club and you'll you'll get specific easter in there look at how sweet that is oh darlene this is adorable Love the tracing paper. So cute. Let's see this tag. That's pretty. Just simple. You could put an image on it if you wanted to, or just leave it simple. Beautiful pages. Look at the use. Victoria Designs always inspires me. I've been working with them on and off for mm, probably close to three years now. Look at the little like hinges. That's so cute. I have to remember something like that. That is so cute for the middle of a page. I want to see this tag too. I've been into a lot of collage lately, so I love getting inspiration on that. All right, let's go. Super cute. This is the Big Honey Hunt. It's a Berenstein, I always say that wrong, Berenstein Bear book. She's used an Etsy kit from Made in Scrap, Made in Scrap, Okay, made in scrap, bee and honey. And then also there's a page from Chocolate Rabbit's kit, the bee journal. Oh, so it's gonna be bee themed. Ooh. I'm not usually a huge fan of repurposing these type of books, like um, the more bright, colorful or whatever, but 
This is brilliant with the B going with like a vintage B themed. It makes it so cute. It kind of takes it from being a children's junk journal and moves it to kind of a quirky, nostalgic adult journal. Like I would love to use this as a daily junk journal to where I wrote like my to-do lists and things like that because I think it would just make me smile every day. So unique and different. Love what you've done. This is the way to do it in my opinion. So cute. The Big Honey Hunt. Look at this. So cute. Look at those giant scissors. And then this is all fabric and lace. And there's a little button charm on the spine. This is so cute. Okay. She's used a sewing journal kit from Artistic Printable for You on Etsy. I'm not familiar with that shop either. So she's really found some amazing shops that we should check out and support. I am really for supporting small digital businesses. I love to do that. In fact, I'll be so excited to show you a paper pack I just purchased from Blossom Paper Art. And I'm working on a uh, four signature junk journal using it. It is so beautiful. And I'll be really excited to share that with you once I finish it. Look at how cute. Little vintage patterns. The size is adorable. It, it's a perfect size journal. It's, see if you compare it to this, it's shorter and a little fatter. It is so cute. Love it. Oh my, look at the beauty of this. I think it's tea themed. Here's a little tea charms. So beautiful. Okay, we have three signatures and she's used calico collage. Of course, love calico collage. One of my main inspirations. Um, Norella is such a kind heart. And I used to be on her design team once upon a million years ago, but occasionally I would say a couple times a year, we might chat about design and she will never know how much she has inspired me and helped me along the way. Her kindness has meant a lot for my journey. So definitely check out her shop. You will not be disappointed in her work at all. It is incredible. And I love this kit. I don't have this kit of hers but I love it. And I think if you like doing old fashioned and tea themed journals, you would definitely want to get this kit. It is so pretty. Just look at how beautiful that is. So pretty. A little crocheted flower, got big postcards, gorgeous. So that is a tea journal. This one, is really tall. Look at that. Wreaths and garlands. So reusing a book cover. I'm excited to see this one. She used paper pads. You know, that actually works really well for 12 by 12 paper because you can actually use probably the whole sheet. My guess is she folded the sheet in half. This is great. You have so much space. I'm not really sure what I would use the size for. I'm racking my brain because it's so perfect. You have a whole, I don't know. It's too pretty to use just for lists. You know, it could be a wedding book, a wedding memory book, like guest book, photos. That would be beautiful. Kind of, some of it almost looks wedding-ish or just your spring journal. How gorgeous. Let's look at this one. So pretty. Oh, our little flowers kind of got squished. Just a little dot of glue will put that right back where it needs to be. There we go. Romantic letters from Victorian digital. And this is a Reader's Digest cover that has been uh, refurbished. Little cute books in there. Gorgeous kit. I am not familiar with this shop either. So obviously Darlene knows how to find all of the good shops. 
very vintage. Isn't that beautiful? We all need to go buy this kit. So pretty. She chooses such good quality papers as well to print on. You can feel it. Oh, that's gorgeous. The texture of the wallpaper. Wow. Darlene, this is just, I don't have words. It's so beautiful. You match all your colors so perfectly. Gorgeous coffee dyed. Look at that. So yummy. There's some music tags back there. The last journal is this one. The cover is a padded mailing envelope covered in fabric. And it's really neat what she did here. So you would have more room to add stuff, but it kind of has that really fun crinkly. Isn't that neat? Like it, it's part of the spine. Unless that got, I don't know if that got squished in pack. That's really cool. I don't know. Anyway, it might have gotten squished up. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. I still love it. Look at how pretty. Oh, did she say? She didn't say where the papers came from. Looks like maybe she used a paper pack again. Edges of lace. Lots of coffee dyeing everywhere. This is our last journal that we will be looking at today. Tomorrow, you do not want to miss tomorrow's video. I'm going to be doing a tutorial and I'm going to be in that tutorial. I'm going to be introducing a new image club that Lonnie and I have been working on for quite a while. Um, and I think that you will definitely love it. <clears throat> And I'm going to use it to do a tutorial. So we're going to have a ton of fun tomorrow. You do not want to miss out on that. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And head over to my shop to purchase Darlene's beautiful journals. And don't forget to grab your exclusive February Image Club flash sale. That's today the... I don't even know what today is. I think it's the 11th. February 11th. Like, I, don't, I should have checked before I started the video. It's hilarious. It's a Thursday. That helps. The Thursday before Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.